Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Saving with Vanna and Heidi. Thank you for joining me today. In today's video, we will be cash stuffing our blessing once in need binder. This is so we could bless the homeless uh, this week for Thanksgiving. We will bless them with blankets, food, and water. And we will be doing that this coming Saturday. So we're going to cash stuff a donation that I received. And we're going to see how much I have so far. And I will also be cash stuffing a total of... 100 that I brought today for my Christmas binder. Here we have different scratch off saving challenges that we will be cash stuffing for Christmas. So we have a hundred, which means 100 dollars. Then we have a total of 32 that we have left over from our saving challenges. So son 32 que nos sobraron de el video de los retos de ahorro. So we will be cash stuffing that into our Christmas binder. Um along with a donation that I received for blankets. So thank you so much. Um, we will be going over that right now. So let me put this to the side so we could get cash stuffing. So once again, thank you for joining me today. We're gonna start cash stuffing our Blessing Once in Eat binder. I have this binder, which I won in a giveaway last year, and we are still using it as it is good as new. This, and this dolphin was gifted to me uh, by Julieta Budget Conmigo. Her mom had made it for me, so we have it right here. So our cover says, Do not forget to love. No olvides amar. And I have dedicated this binder uh, to save for uh, Thanksgiving. Um, if you're new to my channel, we have blessed the homeless for the past two years with pizza, blankets, and water. And my goal was for this year to do the same. Mm, I wasn't able to save as much as I thought. Uh, due to my income being low this year, but I still wanted to make sure we do this with my family because I want to make it a family tradition. For next year, I may choose to help a children's center with children with cancer, or we may help a center for seniors because we have many seniors also that would love to have something for Thanksgiving because sometimes their family members unfortunately don't visit, so I want to do something special for them as well. So for next year, I'll see what I plan. But for now, here we are, cash stuffing for blankets. We have, we have money for blankets, food and water and sodas. So here in the back, I added a donation that I received from Chris at Budgeting just because thank you very, very much, Chris. I appreciate your support in this cause. So I'm cash stuffing the $30 from Cash App that she sent me along with $20 from me for a total of $50 into blankets. So adding the $50 for blankets, I now have fifty, seventy, ninety, a hundred, a hundred and ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-one, and two. So we have a total of one forty-two, which means ciento cuarenta y dos para cobijas. Um, I have a neighbor that told me that she will donate blankets uh, by Friday. So usually uh, I will give out the blankets that same day for Thanksgiving. But this year um, my mom got sick. So she was going to do uh, the food and everything for Thanksgiving. And we were going to do it for Christmas. But since she got sick, I'm going to actually be helping doing the cooking. We're still going to have it at her house, but I'm going to help with the cooking. So I'm going to be busy. I'm going to make pozole. So I decided that instead of doing it tomorrow, Thursday, we would actually do it on Saturday. So that way we won't be in a rush. Plus, um, I could also um, make sure to order the pizza and have it early because other times the pizza is closed. So I have to be looking for a place where it's open. So, yeah. So... If any of you guys watching my video today, which will be uploaded Thursday morning, would like to donate any amount, $5, $10, $15 for blankets, you could still donate because um, I will be going to give out the blankets Saturday morning with my family. So, yeah, that's for blankets. For food, we have... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9, 41, and 2. So I have $42, which means 42. And as mentioned, we will be buying pizza. I will do same as last year. I will be buying cheese pizza. 
and pepperoni pizza in case somebody doesn't like or is allergic to the pepperoni i could offer them cheese pizza so with this amount i could buy around six to seven pizzas which will be around 42 slices so i think we should be good but if anything um my brother said he may buy some pizzas or he may buy the pizzas so depending on that if he did tells me that he's gonna buy the pizzas i'll transfer this money into blankets to buy more blankets to give out to bless more people so once again food means comida next we have water and sodas um most likely we want to say 95 percent <laughs> it will be water just because sodas are expensive right now and our money is not that high right now so it's 10 15 20 25 26 27 28 29 31 2 3 4 so 34 dollars and for waters we have seen specials that they have so we will be buying around so if i buy four packs of 24 that'll be 100 water so i think that should be more than enough i could give them two each if i buy waters or i could probably buy two packs of water which would be 50 waters and then two packs of sodas so we may be able to buy sodas probably so we'll see about that so once again food water and blankets is what we will be doing to bless homeless um i am just grateful that me and my family have a place to live we do rent we're not homeowners but we have a place to live it may not be a huge house but we are happy that we're blessed to have somewhere to live something to cover us from the heat to protect us from the cold so there's other people that are sleeping on the streets that are not blessed like that so i mean we need to be grateful for the little things so that's the reason why i decided to do this even on a low income maybe next year if i go back to working full time am i able to do it more i'll help more but like i said i want to do it a tradition to give back when possible okay so moving on we will start by doing our cash stuffing for christmas so this is our christmas binder we had said we were going to continue adding into this since july or august but unfortunately we had other expenses and stuff that needed to be taken care of so i stopped adding to this and we are <laughs> going to be already on thanksgiving so i want to make sure to try to add at least every week a little bit here and there to make sure i have enough for the presents it's really nice nativity uh savings challenge is from Benji's budgeting so today we're gonna go ahead and start here so i mentioned this was left over rolled over from my last saving challenges video and the other hundred is what i will be cash stuffing so i'm gonna go ahead and start by doing right here let's do let's do number 10 and let's do number let's do number three so 10 and 3 will be 13 we'll be getting this 20 dollar bill and we're gonna put the seven dollars we have here of change into here so my new total for this one will be 20. after this one we are going into this envelope and this is the same envelope i used last year which i decorated for stickers it still looks good it has a tiny rip on the corner but it's still usable so i decided to use it again why not so i have this cute scratch up this is kawaii christmas cash and this is from star budget so we're gonna go ahead and start scratching some of these and see how much we are today so here we have a total of nine dollars then we are doing this one right here that's eight dollars that's a total of 17 17 plus three is 20. Great. so we have scratched a total of 20 so we'll pull 20 from here and so far we have a total of 22 in this one so I'm a, I may go back to this one to scratch a few more. I just want to see how much I'm able to add to each one of these. 
and I've seen several things that are going to be on special that I may buy. So that's a great way to save since I haven't been able to save a lot for Christmas this year. This other cute saving scratch up. This is from Ellie on Earth. This one last time we had already scratched off three. So we're going to go ahead and start right here on the top. Here we have a number six. Right here we have a number three. That's a total of nine. And why not? Let's just go ahead and finish this one. So we have nine that we're going to add plus seven. That gives us a total of $16. So este lindo reto ya lo terminamos con los últimos 16 que vamos a agregar. And let me see if I, if I have changed. So I do. So here we have one, two, three, and four dollars that we are putting back. So these will go into here. And that means this Christmas challenge is done. We are done. Okay, so for this challenge, we now have 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 30. So $30 into this savings challenge. We have completed our first Christmas challenge. Yay! Completamos nuestro primer reto navideño y vamos por más. Once again, this is from Ellie on Earth, and she has many cute savings challenges on her channel. So next, we are doing our Christmas bingo savings challenge, and this is from Snow Gardener 307. We do have here a note that we owe $4 into here, so we have five, six, seven, eight scratch off, and so far we have $4, so we do owe four into here. So let me put this to the side, because we're gonna be adding our $4. So here we have one, two, three, and four that we're adding. Okay. Thank you, baby. So my little baby came to give me a kiss. He's right here. Say hi. Say hello. Say hello, people. I came to give mommy a kiss. You don't want to say hi? Say hi. Go say hi. <laughs> Okay, so my little one is sitting here next to me watching us. Okay, so for bingo, we had scratched off a few here. So let's continue right here. So for bingo, we are scratching off a three. Plus four, that's seven. Plus two, that's nine. So we finish a row. So we are at nine. So plus two, that's 11. 12, 13, 14, 14, 15, 16, 17. So we have two rows completed. Let's continue. 17, 17 plus 4, that's 21. So let's see. 21. Let's do one more. 21 and two more. That's a total of 23. And we'll stop here. So let's go add 20, 1, 2, and 3. So acabamos de agregar 23. And let's see how much I have as of now. So for Christmas bingo, we have 20, 1, 2, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty-one. So let's do it in Spanish. Veinte, uno, dos, veintiuno, veintidós, veintitrés, veinticuatro, veinticinco, veintiséis, veintisiete, veintiocho, veintinueve, treinta y treinta y uno para este reto de bingo navideño. So once again, this savings challenge is from Snow Gardener 307. So we will stop here and see how much we're able to add into our other saving challenges. After this one we are doing, it's the best time of the year. So for this one, this is also from Snorgarner 307. We have this truck on the bottom that we're going to start coloring in. And I'm going to make this icon equal to a total of $10, 5 for the truck and 5 for the tree.
So this, this one will be for $10. And then we'll do one of these on the top for another ten dollars. So that'll be a total of twenty that we add today. So here is the first twenty for the best time of the year. So para el reto del mejor tiempo del año, agregamos 10 dólares y 10 que son un total de 20 dólares en total. After that one, we have this other cute scratch. So we're going to start with doing Merry Christmas Santa. And this is from Ellie on Earth. So we're going to start on the bottom. So we'll cover the S for Merry Christmas. And this is for a total of $1. So we have $1 there. Let's do one more. This is $3, so we're at $4, and one more. This is $4, so that's a total of $8. So here we have 5 6 7 and $8 for this one right here. And uh, let's do this cute one. Instead of finishing this one, let's just do this other one right here. And for this one, we're going to do this one right here. And this is for a total of four. So we have five, six, seven, and eight. Hopefully we get, we're at six. Should we stop? Should we continue? So we're at six for this one. Mm. Let's hope it's not a big number. Seven. So we're at seven. Mm. And I guess I'll just leave it as it is. Because I don't want to scratch off a bigger number. So we did seven for this one. And we did. So we did eight for this one. And seven for this tiny mini saving challenges. These are both for Christmas and they're both from Ellie on Earth. So if you want something like this or something bigger, make sure to go check out her Ellie's, Ellie on Earth's Etsy shop. She has a ton of cute items that she makes for all the different holidays. So aquí agarramos números pequeños, fueron 4, 5, 6 y 7. Y aquí hicimos 5, 6, 7 y 8 para Santa Claus. After this one, we have Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Cute Merry Christmas Savings Challenge I have here from a card that Marlene at Snow Gardener 307 has sent me. So here in the back, we have this to scratch. So we're going to go ahead and scratch off this one on the bottom. And this is for a total of three dollars. Plus six, that's nine. Plus four, that's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 plus four is 17. I hope we don't get that big number, 17. 17 plus three is 20, so we're gonna stop here. So we have 20 here and we're stopping because we only have $1 left. So once again, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year's. Feliz Navidad y Año Nuevo is de Marlene at Snow Gardener 307. So this one will have it in here. So we're going to go back and see where we could add that other dollar. This one I make it bigger numbers, so... I'll just try this one and see. Okay, so that's a big five. So once again, we're going to add one. And that means once again, I'll add an IOU of $4. So that's all for today's cash stuffing. I hope you enjoyed. We were able to cash stuff our blessing once they need binder along with our Christmas binder, which truly needed it. 
we will continue doing this every week for christmas and once again if anybody would like to donate a dollar five dollars ten dollars fifteen dollars to buy more blankets uh you could do a cash donation through my cash app which is down in the description if you have any questions feel free to reach out to me through email i will be sharing pictures once i buy the blankets as well as video when we go uh, pass out the blankets this coming saturday so once again until saturday i will be doing the blankets instead of uh on thanksgiving so i will be sharing that with you guys thank you so much i hope you all have a wonderful time with your family so let's remember on thanksgiving day to give thanks for all we have and of course that we have health because without health we are nothing we're not able to function as we can as we should we're not able to go on trips as we want so let's pray for more health that we continue to have good health or improve our health and let's pray for those that are sick so that's all for today i hope you enjoyed and see you in the next one bye